Hello. Hi. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. You know Diana? Yes, sir. All right. See where you're going. To where does plantation it way? Um, yes, but I will have you um drop me like it's not it's it's closer to where we're okay, going. Okay, that's fine. You can yeah. just tell me where to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Diana. Yes, sir. Do you mind if I record? That's fine. Our ride, but also publish it to YouTube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah. Are you recording right now? Yes, um, it always runs. I was gonna push my hair. But yeah, go ahead. That probably you probably look crazy. Hair. I'm just getting up from work, so. Here's my card. Okay. And then, um, I cannot guarantee that I publish, but... Uh, it's alright. They just said, I just got up from work, so I know I probably look crazy. Well, you can brush while I'm we're going. Brush my hair. That's fine. <laughs> So, can I ask what kind of work do you do? Uh, I'm a caregiver. Caregiver? Yeah. Oh, is this an old people's home? Yeah. Where I picked you up from? Yes. This um, is a golf and country club. Yes, it is. But it's at the same time... No. It's like condo. Um, there's old people that live there as well. Oh, well, thank yeah, you for your service. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because uh, you're dealing with um, hmm, old people's problems. <laughs> <laughs> We all get there hopefully one day, yeah. right? It's not so bad. It's not so bad? No. I love helping people, so uh -huh. that's why I'm in the field, so I love what I do. Oh, that's so nice of you. Mm -hmm. But old people can sometimes be a pain in the you know what. Sometimes when they get to like their Alzheimer's um, oh, you know, stage okay. where they like don't remember stuff, then sure. they get grumpy, but it's not so bad. It's actually, it's Alzheimer's the worst thing that can happen to you when you grow old? Um, yes, because it, it depends at what stage because then you get to lose your long-term memory like you don't remember nothing but there's people that get to like the stage one where it's just like it's short-term memory so they probably won't remember what happened yesterday but you get people that remember what happened like 10, 20 years ago but they just remember what happened like yesterday or what happened the day before yesterday So. When you have short term, the, the beginning is short term memory loss. Mm -hmm. That's the beginning of yeah. Alzheimer's. Yeah. And that's not so bad. You it's say. not so bad. I mean, they just don't remember what happened yesterday. Right. But they get to remember 10 years ago what I was doing or where I was and stuff like that. And who, who's their names, where they live. Yeah. I think and family members they still know. Yeah, to me, I feel like when you lose your short-term memory it's better because then you still live on the memories you had made you know years ago uh -huh. yeah yeah that is important yeah oh wow i i wasn't quite aware that there's these different stages and then when it becomes worse it is the long time memory long-term memory that is affected and then basically you lose everything right. because then you don't know your own name do you know your own name Yes. You, they do. They still know their own names? They still know their own names, yes. Do they know where they live? Sometimes. But you but just have to remind them. Yeah. Wow, that is devastating. Yeah. Oh, wow. And do you have special training to deal with people like that? Or yes. You do? To be in the field, you really have to be a patient. You have to have patience, like lots of patience. Yeah. And you have to have like a good heart because sometimes it can get hard and if you don't have patience it, it can get you know i've seen it happen mm -hmm. where you know there's people who's on their job they just you know it, the money is good so they're mm -hmm. on there for the money right but for me it's because i love to help people and without patience you can't really do it because there are times yeah. where they're gonna ask you the same questions over and over or they might wake up and then today is like not a good day for them as to where like they don't want to get out of bed they don't want to get a shower uh -huh. but you have to like encourage them you know right. to give them words of encouragement and try to help them to get through the day 
because it's most, very yeah. Like, yeah one on one yeah. also like it's very personal it is because you get to know them they mm -hmm. get to know you yes sometimes you may even have an argument or you never have <laughs> you try never to have an argument yeah. of course but most times it's it's the like some days you have to get them through the day because they can't yeah. if they wake up and they just have a rough day you have to like, yeah, give possible. them words of encouragement and tell them, you know, you have to try to get out of bed, try to get a shower, you'll feel better, you'll get better, yeah. let's get some sun and all of that, yeah. And it's, then if you're happy with smiling and happy talking, that yeah. encourages them to, to also that motivates them to yes. get started their day. Yeah. Everybody sometimes wakes up with the, how do you say that, on the wrong side of the bed? Yes. And that's possible, right? Yeah. But then your attitude is very important. Exactly. And, that. and you're so right about what you just said about you need to be in it for the right reasons. Yeah. If you're in it for the money, because the money is good, you're not going to last. No. You're going to burn out. Yeah. Because this is a tough job. It is. The one that I'm understanding from you. Yeah. And I know it, because I could never do stuff like that. No, I'm not going to wipe any old people's buns, you know what yeah. I mean? It's just because you're dealing also with the difficulties of getting older. Exactly. And that you love people and love to help people. Yeah. And Hey, then you worth the money. You know what I mean? Yeah. One day when I grow old, I hope to have you have you as a nurse. <laughs> yeah. It's like you know how they said you need um, to be doing a job that wakes you up in the morning, basically. Uh -huh. Like, cause if you wake up, you're like, oh man, I gotta go to this patient. You know, you already have a bad day. Your energy yeah. kind of like trade off to the patient when you get there. So true. It's like you know. Yeah, you gotta like what's in front of you when you wake up. Yeah. Which is always a good reason to jump out of bed and. Uh, yeah. yeah. I love it because they become a part of your lives. Like you get home, you get to share stories yeah. of like, cause you're gonna like your family gonna ask, how was your day? You're gonna be like, oh my patient was so good today, or you get days where you be like, oh man, I had a long day today, like because of how you had to get the patients to go through the day. So, I mean it's. But, but that's a, that's like, you know, everybody has tough days. Yeah. But you don't stop your job because of one tough day. Yeah. It is really the the overall feeling that you have towards your job, but yeah. also the, your employer that he tr treats you right, that you feel valued, not just in the amount of money, but also your colleagues. You have nice colleagues that you have, yeah. you know, nice PTO, nice benefits, and things like that. That, that completes the package and that, that, that definitely helps. The same for me, I, I've been working with this nonprofit like for the past 20, more than 20 years already. Wow. And they don't pay great, but I just love the work they do, I love the organization and I just yeah. stick with them. You get to meet you know? new people too. Because it makes me feel good about me. Yeah. What, the, what I'm doing, I also feel like it's like God's work and I'm not even religious or so, but it feels <laughs> like that, you know? doing something to help the people and, and yeah, help others. Yeah. Um, thank you for your service. Thank you. Wow, so where are you from? You're, let me guess. The Bahamas. The Bahamas? Yes. Oh, I, I would have never guessed. Really? Yeah, I know. Okay. No. Yeah. Because the Bahamas are so tiny, nobody's from the Bahamas. <laughs> 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 no, true, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's decent. 700 islands there's a lot of us there uh, what is the population of the bahamas uh the bahamas alone how many have to look that up i bet it's less than a million <laughs> come on probably more now i would say more now uh-huh yeah. so there's three nurses <laughs> two two bakeries and, and one well, supermarket so this is for 2021 it's 470 no four seven thousand nine hundred and six that's what it is right now wait say again four hundred and seventy thousand well now it, it went up for 2022 that was 2021 four hundred and nine thousand nine hundred and eighty four that's less than half a million <laughs> <laughs> you probably know all the bahama keys. well it is a it's pretty small so everybody knows everyone kind of yeah yeah. I, I even noticed that in Haiti. So my wife's Haitian. Really? I lived in Haiti uh, for five, six years. Wow. And there is, an, uh, uh, that is a population of almost 10 million. Mm -hmm. And still there, almost everybody knows each other. Yeah. 
I and know. it is because you you start talking to a stranger in the supermarket and then soon you discover oh wait this is the cousin of the neighbor of that other aunt that I have <laughs> and then you know each other true 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 right. not directly <laughs> you know but via via yeah and so you have to be careful with who you pick a fight with or who you get upset with or like road rage and all of those kind of things yeah. because soon you find out that this person that was not treating you right is actually a cousin of your aunt <laughs> or something you know it's family yeah. shoot <laughs> all related it's all related but in the bahamas even more yep Five hundred thousand people wow mm -hmm. you see but so, that's just for nasa because there's like there's 700 island they're not all um they're not all occupied, but uh -huh. most of it. Yeah, probably yeah. not everybody's registered in a yeah. place like that. But so, do you guys have a president mm -hmm. or a king or what? Oh, what, what we have it? a prime minister because prime we are minister. under the British, you know. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're prime ministers. So, do you have a British passport? No. No. We don't. Yeah, being in passport. And to work in the US you need a work permit or something or a visa yes, or a house you need or visa. Work permit. Yeah, work permit visa. But you, you but your you're English able is perfect. To stay. You're, you've been here a while. Yeah. I mean we speak English. Oh you do? In the Bahamas yes. they speak English? Yes, we speak English. It's uh, it's like a, a broken slang. Like we ha we have like perfect American English and we have like a Bahamian dialect as well. Oh, it's a little bit like Puerto Rico. Yeah, kind of. Puerto Rico English is, although it is really thick though. No, it we just have almost, a dialect, but it is yeah. pure English. Yeah. But it's like its own language, really. Yeah. I mean, if you speak with somebody else from the Bahamas, then I probably would not be able to understand them. Right? You will understand, I just will have more of a slang to it, oh. because of the dialect part, oh. where um. Yeah, it's just a slang, but you will understand the English. So can you speak a little bit nah, Bahamese? No. <laughs> no. How do you say it? Bahamese? No? Bahamian. Bahamian, thank yeah. you. Oh, is that where Bahamian Rhapsody comes from? Who? Bahamian Rhapsody from Queen. Bahamian Rhapsody, I've never heard of that actually. Maybe I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, I have Maybe. to look that up. Mm -hmm. There's a Bahamian Rhapsody. I wonder if that's from the Bahamas. Eh, it's probably not. Anyway, but so, yeah, can you talk to me in slang or not? Oh, no. No? Oh, <laughs> then you get shy? <laughs> because I ask you to, yeah. It's the funny thing, I'm from the Netherlands and people ask me to speak Dutch. I also don't know what to say. <laughs> it's weird. Bahamian Rhapsody, is it the ones that, that sing like Bar Bali songs? No. No? No. Oh. No, it, it's... Because I know there's this group that I It's think. a song, Bahamian Rhapsody. Uh, no. Done by Queen, no. the band Queen, but they they don't no longer exist. Anyway. Oh, uh, you know another Bahamian Rhapsody? What? No, it's uh, another group I know. They uh -huh. sing like um, I know they. I believe they are either from. They're white, but they sing like reggae music, which is right. so weird. But like with a strong um, British accent, yeah. British accent reggae, <laughs> yeah. sung by white people. Right. Oh, that's funny. I know. That's so I thought slapstick. it was. You know what we're talking about. <laughs> no. What is your favorite song? Oh. Do you have a favorite song? Or favorite band? Favorite song, favorite band. Oh, I have a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, name but me I one. Love, what is it? Name me one. I'm more of a gospel girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So what is a popular gospel singer that you like? Uh, right now, uh, Marvick City is my go-to for like worship. Marvick City? Yes. Oh, is it on TV? Uh, yes. Ah, you can okay. find it on YouTube too. And they have their own singers and band and things yes. like that? Yes. Oh, okay. They also sing with Kirk Franklin. Um, oh, you would not know. So you're into uh, you you're very religious then. I am. I um, grew up in church all my life, so yeah. Grew, grew up Catholic or Baptist. Christian? Baptist. Yes. How is Baptist different from Catholic? Um, Catholic is more of a. I don't know it like 
really to the teeth, but mm. like they do communion every Sunday, every time they meet. Yeah. We do communion every first Sunday of the month. And then we have oh, like. Oh, it's like the Protestants. Yeah. We have oh. like music, drums, and all that, but I think Catholic doesn't have none of that. No. They yeah, don't they don't even that. clap, I think. I'm not no. sure. Yeah. Oh, you start like you stand up and you sing and dance and right. We give it more. Loud. We more like Pentecostal style. I think. Yeah, I love that stuff. Yeah, I hope what I'm saying is true. Because this is going on YouTube. People, eh? uh -huh. <laughs> so I hope what I'm saying is true because I I don't look at like much because it's going on YouTube. I know people are gonna <laughs> like comments and stuff. <laughs> So I just started my channel, right? I only have 13 subscribers. Really? But it's it's 13. You will get more. It's, it's the first 13. So those uh, are very dear, dear to me. Do you have TikTok? Sorry? TikTok? No. No, it's a popular app um, that everybody yeah. seems to have these days. I know. Yeah. No, I'm so busy with life. I have my work, then I have my Uber, okay. and my family. That's nice. You know, and I what I just do is I just let the cameras run in the car, and mm -hmm. then at night I go sit and edit and publish uh, them. Okay. And I know I could do way more marketing, like with Instagram and TikTok and all of that, but yeah. I just don't have the time for that at the moment. Okay. Just maybe in the future, but we'll see. So you're gonna keep your right. It's gonna. I'm gonna. Um, it's gonna be a turn right before the light. Okay. Oh yeah, and on the map it says to the left. Do you want yeah, to go that's home. Right? I'm not going. You want going. me to go take this one? No. But I just kept have you kept it um open because it's like the same way. So yeah. I would love to give Tanya like where to go, where to go. Sure. Yeah. So before the gas station, before Wawa, then we're gonna turn. Before the Wawa. Okay. Yeah. So where the sign? Not this one. Here? Not no, not this the one. Next one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you could even take the other one because next, next. Yeah. <laughs> but you could turn through here, and then you can take their turn right there. You to go in here. Yes, right there. This one. This one. This one. This one. This, this one? one. Yes, yes, yes. I'll oh. get off right here. It's okay. No, it's no, right. no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> This is uh, sort of illegal, but okay. <laughs> it is. You know, as long as there's nobody in my camera. Okay. It's all good. And so now here to the left? No, you just go back straight. Um, back straight? If you can, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not trying to come here. Then you can stop by the red truck or the white car. The red truck, really white excited. car. Okay, I see it. Well, there's a car coming, but I can yeah. get out of here. <laughs> It's all right. Thank this you so pretty. much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you we'll be too. Online, uh, Have a great yeah. day and I hope you get more subscribers. Yeah. So. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate right. it. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye-bye.